Well, hello boys and girls. My name is Ivan. I'm from Cofet Company, and here we are making some 3D designs related for 3D printing technology. And someone on my Instagram asked me how I created these monster ways, and especially how I go around these smooth uh, leaves. And in this video, I'm gonna try to show you something similar for the for this project. I can't really show you exactly this monster ways because it was commercial project, but uh, we're gonna try and find out something new. And usually I'm approaching my designs in two ways. First one, when I got the whole idea already in my head and I don't need to search any references. But for today's video we're gonna do another way when I don't get any ideas in my head and I need to try to search some good references and ideas and for this one I use Pinterest a lot so let's go dive into the Pinterest and try to figure out what we're gonna create today I found uh, some good one and I found this little quotes, love holy, good vibes, you know, it's cool, cool looking fonts and it will be kinda easy to replicate on 3D and more than others I like this one that um, called us Stay Rare by Polka Design that's a really good font and really nice idea so shout out to the designer and also for this, at this stage I decided that it will be easier, it's always easier to place the flat logotypes like this on the flat surfaces. That's why I start thinking about the waist shape and usually I use cylindrical forms and it's really hard to put the, this stuff on cylindrical, cylindro, cylindro. Yeah, so I start thinking about maybe we can use something different like uh, this type of shapes and with this type of shapes we have a first face and backward face. So on the main face I'm gonna put the stay word sign and for the back one I decided to look for some smiley emojis and I found this one. Now, I think it's a match for the, this logotype here. Weird icon and weird sign. And we're gonna combine them together. So let's go jump into SolidWorks. So I'm already created here the main shape and the main form. And let me quickly show you how I did it. And then we're gonna make something with the back face here. So for the general shape I used a pretty simple sketch that's this stuff called in SolidWorks straight slot and this is the dimension that I use here and then I just extrude it on the head by let's say 140 millimeters. After that I create a cut just a one regular cut and make a curvature pattern along the, our main form. So it's kinda easy stuff here and you always can check out my previous videos. I did it a lot of times. After that I hide this body and it's time to create this. So how I did this? I just make sketch on the front plane and there are all the features in SOLIDWORKS that allow you to put the pictures like you can find these features in any 3D software right now and after that I just use this tool that's called a spline and place and trace the letters like this I don't want to show this in this video because it's take me a lot of time to trace it. Not a lot, but 
it will be boring to watch how I trace them. I just want you to understand the general ideas behind these designs. So yeah, if you don't understand something, you can always ask me through my Instagram. So I traced all the letters. And let me quickly delete it. And then I extruded for some lens, doesn't matter how much. You just need to be sure that it stays oh, actually that's not true i extruded it on special distance and here is a little trick for you so we need this surface and this surface to be on this distance from each others okay so also the important point here is not to merge these letters and the main body on this thing because i wanted to add fillets to every letter that go deep into the our main body so you need to be sure that these fillets go across the whole body and go inside it and on this stage i kind of needed to replicate this 10 times but i think we can approach this in other ways with just a one fillet in the future when we're gonna create the backward face also maybe let's let's also you know what as designed call us to be paired let's make not a straight lines let's make a wave lines i think it will be better fit in here so for this let's go back for a little bit uh, i need to understand what distance we need to use here so okay let's just go to the first face here making a sketch and for this wave style spline i will use this equation driving curve so put here these numbers here is one and here's 130. Okay, now let's kind of try to make it a little bit different. I wanted the line to be more... I can't find the right word in English for this, but let me try to show you. Yeah, I want to be more quickly in more waves. Something like this. Simple and it's and kind of elegant. Hmm. So how can we perfectly align it by vertical? Here I am adding the line to align it our wave line for this use this press shift and select the second line and make them tangent. Yeah this way they will be perfectly aligned. So we can this do something like this. Sorry for boring understanding of what I'm doing because my tutorials are always gonna be sketchy I guess on this stage let's go let's extrude it make an extruded cut same feature point eight here middle plane so inside point sixty nine second direction through all let's go blind up to 10 millimeters great that's what i'm trying to achieve here now let's change the parts from here delete the first curve and select the second one great does it look superb we find out in the second yeah much better and now we can delete the old one hmm 
it's kinda look interesting. I need to remember this pattern style and maybe I can use it for the later. Yeah, definitely need to remember it. But now let's delete it, we don't need it anymore. Uh, great, the operation was complete successfully. Let's delete this cage and let's place the smiley ways on the back side okay so on this stage let's hide this let's make this one a one bodies for this i'm gonna create this cage nice and special something looks like this and like this okay now i need to extrude it in this way and this operation will help us to join all the bodies together now we can just hide it go to the back plane let's add the sketch pictures so i guess it should be here yeah it looks like a lot we need to see our main body to understand where to place our sketch body. So it almost perfectly sized. Let's scale it down just a bit. A bit more. Okay. I think this kind of looks well align it for me press enter and let's hide our main body again so now we need to trace this smaller ways for this i will use spline and just manually put some vertices here and there uh, the main trick with vertices in this type of operations is the few vertices you use, the easier it will be for you to make a perfect spline. Try to use as less vertices as you can. And then you always can move them around here and there. Looks like we need more vertices here. Let's insert another one. And just drag it up like this. Quick note, it shouldn't be perfectly aligned, but you know what, we can try to fit a perfect circle here, yep, 100 millimeters, yeah, boys looks like we matched everywhere, okay, now what can we do, we need to make this stuff here will be it should be easy let's see this 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 and this let's use trim tool to make a trim here and there and let's just try to make this tangent and this tangent yeah something like this and the same thing we need to make on the other side here 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 and here okay let's trim it again okay and align it with our circle looks like we missed one trim great amazing tangent perfect yeah looks looks good to me 
and let's trace the mouse quickly. Don't be afraid to not align it perfectly. Be okay with yourself and this Pokemon perfection. It will save you a lot of time. So yeah, I like this one a lot. And also, let's make the inner contour for our outer face. We can do it by offset entities, or at least we can try. Uh huh. Looks like we can. So, okay. Let's quickly trace the eyes. Let's copy this and paste it here. Like this. Okay. Now let's delete the pictures. We don't need it anymore. And try to understand how to offset these entities here. We can offset this one by 10, 5, 6.9. Okay. So let's just copy it and paste it here. Like this. Looks awesome. Now let's trim them. Here, there, here and there. Make them tangent. And do the same with the another one. Place it somewhere here. Okay, let's trim it. Here and there. Here and there. And make them aligned. Click here, click here. Tangent. Make them tangent. Click here, click here. Make them tangent. Okay, it's time to extrude our face out. We need this, 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 and this. So I think 50 for now. We gonna we need to extrude it on the same planes as we do with the text. And it's this distance number. So let's quickly fix it with this one. Okay. So how to add the fillets to the one body and not to the fours. We need to again combine these bodies together by adding another features like this. Okay, feature, extrude, cut, backward, just a little bit, 10 and merge results. So we don't need actually this circle here, we just need it to merge the, these bodies together to make the field operation come easier. 1.5 for the fillets, select the faces, we don't need the backward faces. Okay, uh, looks like our mouse looks not as pleasant as I wanted to, let's quickly fix it. So for the mouse. Let's make mouse with perfect circle. 65. Okay. Uh, now let's trim. Let's trim our mouse. Mm -hmm. Like this one. Let's trim it here. Let's trim this one here. This one here. Let's delete this point. Make this and this tangent. And make this and this tangent too. To quickly fix it, fix these points here. Okay. Great. Let's 
move the vertices somewhere around here. I kinda don't like this upper arc here, so let's offset our mouse too. Make a trim here. Here. Here and here. Okay. Let's delete this point. And delete this point. Make this and this arc tangent. Like this. Okay, I'm good with the, this one and Okay, looks fine to me. Now we have some troubles with credits. Just need to select all of them. Yeah. I still don't like this part here. Looks like we got some troubles here. Maybe we can delete this vertices here. Make it here like this. Yep. Delete this one. Is it looks better? I don't know. You tell me. Now let's reveal our bodies. here and there also maybe we can add more thickness here so it's always game back and forth back and forth on looking at what's good and what is bad for example I didn't really like the thickness of these parts here so I just go back and try to move some vertices go back out catch mode and take a look at what we got here again it shouldn't be always perfect but here it is what else can we add here i got one idea in my head but it will be a time consuming because i don't try it ever never ever by myself but let's let's try to do it so for this we're gonna need this sketch to be shown. All the bodies need to be hired. After that, we need two more planes from the top one. I think three and another plane again three. Okay, let's hide the top board, top one, and let's select the one before and make a sketch on it. So we need some vertices, okay, we just need to make a circle, make the circle instruction geometry and now we can make a circular pattern, select the circle and the entities to pattern select this, god damn it, those patterns make me crazy man, yeah. And we need an equal amount of vertices, like eight, maybe nine. Should I let's go with eight? Okay, let's measure the distance between these two points. 
here and there. 26. Okay, let's end another construction guide. Here and here. Make the mirror. The entities for mirror will be our vertices. And let's delete all the arcs. We don't need any arcs here. Only the vertices. Let's leave it for now. Let's add really space it. Not equally. Let's go 26.4 here. And let's same one here. And let's make a mirror pattern again. Select the points. Mirror about this line. Okay. Great. Go out of the sketch. We got this vertex. Now what we need to do is to add, activate the second plane. Hide the previous one. Hide the original one. Go to the second plane. Edit the sketch. Let's go up to the upper view. And now we need to add vertices between these points. How can we do that? So for the for this part, I think we just can make this type of construction guides here. Make this geometry and let's make it for construction. Let's add a point. Make a circular pattern. Eight points. Yeah. Okay, let's show the original star. Now we need to add vertices here and here. We can create a line here and here. And just put the vertices at the middle parts of our lines. Yeah. So let's do the same on the bottom one. Two lines for construction and points here and here. Now let's let's reveal this construction guide to make it for construction and mirror all the stuff here. Mirror about here. Okay. Actually we can delete this. We don't need it anymore. Let's go out of our sketch and try to do this kind of tricky operation that I had in my head. So we have three planes. Let's go to the curves. Curve through points. Not this one. Through reference points. Yeah. And let's select our points here, here, on the top and bottom sketch. So just select the points and try not to miss any. And it looks like we got a miss on the top one. Let's quickly edit this sketch because there's some problem here. We miss this point here. Let's mirror it. Select the point. Mirror about. Okay. Let's check. Here, here, here. Okay, everything else is correct. Let's try to recreate this curve again. Yeah. Congratulations to us. So let's hide this top sketch, this sketch. Now we have this curve. What I'm trying to do next. Let's, you know what? We can just extrude this surface like this. And now we can trim surface. Trim tool will be this. And surface to the left will be this. Now what we need else to do? We need to add thickness to the surface by simple thickness command. It looks awesome. Can we add a chamfer?
Okay, let's take a look how it all look like all together. Uh huh. I wanted to scale this last body a little bit. Let's go to the features, scale, uncheck uniform scaling, and I want to just a little bit scale it in the old direction except except the y. Yeah. That was that what was that what I was trying to achieve, but it looks too much. Let's go with point one here and there. Okay, and let's try to do it the last time. Okay, point zero five will be okay for us. Maybe point six. Yeah. Yep. Let's leave it like like this. Just small little fillet that will add a little bit of charm and mood to our model in general. Now we can hide the sketch here. Let's make an emit plane for the mirror operation. Let's mirror our stuff here like this and select the bodies here like this and that what we got so far let's control save it combine all this stuff together looks like we do some troubles let's try to combine separately these bodies first it's not necessary to combine but in some some cases it works much better combine it when you're trying to export your STL files for sure. Great. Let's try to combine stay work and the main body. Excellent. And the last thing we need to combine is our smiley face. Maybe there are much simpler approach and for models in this type of stuff, but this is in my way, so and I'll show you exactly almost everything expect from beginning but it's really beginner stuff and if you want to try to model this type of weathers you with no any problems that's how my models really look like that's how the final result look like control save let's check out how it will look like in cura save as stl stay weird okay so we successfully finished our export and let's try let's see how it looks like in cure with slice damn girl that looks awesome it really look good we don't have any problems all the layers merge between each other perfectly Yeah, so I don't have any 3D printer at my apartment right now because I moved into Thailand. But when I got one, I no doubt print this face first. Yep, that's how the whole modeling session looked like. So if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to make notification bell activate and write in the comments what you would like to see me to model for you personally any modeling ideas because i can't model the same ways all the time so yeah see you later guys thank you for watching my videos i'm really appreciated and special thanks for my patron supporters here are all of them see you guys later